Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be doing a random unboxing. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we have three boxes here. Now, I've got this one from Chrono Toys. This is their blue mystery box. Um, there was red, red, green, yellow, and blue, and I bought the blue one. Um, I know some people bought all four, but I thought I would just test it out. This is my first Chrono Toys mystery box, so I was like, here, let's try out this one. We'll get a blue one. This is really cool. Um, and then, so we also have this one here I ordered from the Funko shop. I know what it is, but I'll show you guys what it is in a bit. And then Jason over at the HQ, um, if you guys don't know, we, we kind of sent packages, or he sent me a couple packages before. Now we kind of did like, almost like a trade, but it was like a mystery trade. So I guess you could say we gave each other little mystery boxes. Um, so he sent that, he said that he sent me a cool thing from the Funko HQ, and then a pop that was on my um, Stashpedia wish list. So that's pretty cool. We'll get to see what these are here. Um, but anyways, guys, let's just get started with the first package. And we're going to start with the one that I know what it is, and it's the one from the Funko uh, shop. Um, so we'll just get into this one here. Um, this is a pop that I ordered, I'd say maybe a week or two ago. Um, and I'm surprised that it came in this quick. I mean, Funko shop's been getting quicker with their shipping, which I like. Um, I've been waiting on some Pez ones to come in, but um, I'm hoping they come in this weekend anyway. Here we go, guys. If you guys don't know, they did the Pez t-shirts. It's not what this is at all, but um, they did Pez t-shirts. Quake and Quisp, I ordered those. Those will be coming in soon. So I want to do that with the uh, the Pez mukbang. When we do that, that'll be cool. Okay, guys, so here it is here. I see, yeah, this is what I thought it was. Okay. So here we go, guys. You ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, I got it right this time. Aha! Okay, so it is Mr. Spacely from the Pop Animations line, and it's from the Jetsons box came in in really nice condition. If you guys don't know, um, we went to the store the other day and Rebecca picked up a couple. Um, she picked up Jane and Judy. I, they didn't have Elroy, but she wanted this set. Um, and I told her that I got Mr. Spacely, so she was pretty excited about that one. Um, I think her mom wanted these ones, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, it was really cool um, that she got them. I haven't even picked those ones up yet, but I did get this one. I've got George, Elroy, and now Mr. Spacely. So this is a really cool one. Right, let me pop them out of the box real quick so I can show them off. Hey, that popped up nicely. Let me see what it says here. Yeah. Uh, Jetsons, Mr. Spacely. He's a shorter figure. And I like that they did this one in the Funko HQ, in the Funko shop. I mean, you know, it's like a little bit of an added bonus when you have this one in your collection. You're like, oh, yeah, I picked up the, the Funko uh, shop exclusive one. So there it is right there, guys. There is Mr. Spacely. Very cool figure. Um, his mustache is a little, hmm, but, you know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a style, I guess you could say. It's not... My choice, but um, it's not my first choice for a mustache, but yeah, I mean, hey, uh, he you do you, Mr. Spacely. Um, anyways, very cool uh, figure. I'm glad that I could get this one. I like how it's in the uh, the Jetsons box. I was looking for the Rosie the Robot 3-pack. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to try and find that one. That next, I think it's, what are the colors? Blue, pink, and yellow, I think they are. Like a light blue, pink, and yellow, I think is what the three are, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not exactly sure what it is, um, but still a very cool pack to get. Um, and I'm glad that I could get this one. I think it's still on the website if you guys want it, but um, I'm not sure about that. Um, so let's get into the one from Jason. I'm pretty excited about this, actually, because this is one um, that he had messaged me and said that uh, he had a pop that he had in his collection for a while and knew that I had it on my like uh, on my wish list, so he was wondering if it was updated um, on my Stashpedia wish list. And if you guys ever want to see pops that I'm looking for or pops that I have, you guys can go over to my Stashpedia. Um, you can follow me at T-O-P-P-P-O-P-S. It's Top Pops with an extra P. Whoever has Top Pops without the P in the middle, let me know, because I, I'd gladly take the username. I, I wanted that username, and then it was taken, so it was a, really annoying. Uh, but anyways, let's get into this one here, guys. I have no clue what it is. He also told me that there's something small in here, too, so let me see if we can reach for the small thing first. Um, so I feel the pop. Okay, here's, this, here's the smaller thing, I think. Uh, aha! Okay, okay, okay. Here it is. Okay, so the small thing that he sent over was, hey, this is cool. So I think we talked about this one, me and him. Um, but he got the Funko HQ. <gasps> that was my phone. We got the Funko HQ Pop Magnet. Um, that is really cool. I don't think you guys have probably ever seen this before. It's a Freddy Funko there. I'll probably keep it on the card because that looks really cool. But unless I find somewhere to put it. Um, I believe this is exclusive to the HQ. It's these types of things that you don't see too often. Um, but they have at the HQ if you go there. Is my phone okay? I was going to use this to search up prices. Yeah, it is okay. I was going to use it to search up prices for the mystery box after. Um, 
But here it is here, guys. That is a uh, pretty cool figure. Um, I like that one. I like the magnet. Plus, I want I want to get the Freddy Funko Space Needle eventually. Um, I don't think it's worth too much, but it is one of those ones that I want to put in my collection. Um, so that's awesome. And now let's find out what the pop is, guys. So I'll, I think this is like a card. I'll check that after. It's probably just like something. I don't know. Um, but here we go, guys. You ready? I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I think this is the right way up. Hey, this is cool. Okay, guys, so this, if you don't know, I remember when this one first came out, and I was like, yeah, I'll go get it. And we went to my Hot Topic, and they di either didn't have it, or I didn't pick it up the first day, and then it sold out the next time I went in. But I really wanted this one after it had sold out, and that's how it always goes with me. I always want it after it's gone. Um, but this is the kind of, like, bloody, bl uh, bloody what's it called, like, Invisible Predator. Um, so if you guys don't know, he's got, like, a green film kind of over top of him. Let me see what the card was. Oh, it was just his business card and everything, so that's cool. Um, but Jason, thank you so much for sending this over. I'll have to get out your package as quick as possible uh, because I'm going to probably get that one out this Friday or sometime soon um, because I've got some cool stuff that I want to send over to you. Um, but yeah, guys, here it is here. Let me pop this one out of its box because I want to show it off um, because this is a pretty cool figure. Um, I'm pretty pumped about having this one, actually. Uh, let me see here. Okay, guys, so this is the Predator. Whew. I love the clear on this thing. It looks amazing. Can you guys see, like, the green kind of, like, dots on him? I hope you can. That's kind of what the blood is. Um, that's the difference between this one and then the original one. Um, it's more obvious when I'm looking at it. Like, it's completely all over it, but they probably wanted to make it clear as well, so they didn't do so many that it was, like, hard to see the clear parts. Uh, but still, very cool figure. Jason, thank you so much for this. This is an awesome package. Like I said, I'll have yours out as soon as possible. I just haven't been to the post office this week, so it'll be coming soon. Let me see if we can pop this back in real quick. There we go. Ah, oh, gosh, I hate that noise. Um, but anyways, there it is right there. Thank you so much for this. And uh, there we go, guys. That's the one from Jason. Also, the magnet is a great little touch. I love that. Thank you so much for that. Um, we had talked about that one, and I remember him saying something about wanting to send this one. Um, and then he also threw in the pop, and then we we're doing I'm sending him a pop. I'll let you guys know what we're sending after he opens it, because I don't want to spoil that for him now. Um, but anyways, guys, let's get into this box here. So as you guys can see, this is the blue box. That's the one that they sent. Like I said, there were four different colors to this. The Chrono Toys box. Um, this was in a bigger box, and I just took it out of that box. But I haven't looked inside of here yet. Um, so there was the blue, red, green, and yellow. And out of the grails, I wanted the blue ones the most if I were to get a grail. And um, I don't know, just I was more excited about this one because I like blue as well more than other colors. And I noticed that some people were getting the blue ones, and they weren't. Um, well, they weren't stuff that I was interested anyways, uh, like in the, especially with the grails and then like if I was thinking of a yellow figure, um, it was kind of like, eh, it was all right. So I picked up this blue one here. I'm really excited about this one. I popped this one, guys. So don't think that Chrono Toys is sending me, uh, something that for free. I paid for this with my own money. Um, so this is not, uh, something by Chrono Toys, even though I do stuff with Chrono Toys. I bought this myself, so I just want to get that out of the way before I open this up. But let me do this, guys. I just want to cut this slightly, and I'm not going to uh, look inside yet. I want to just get this open. Okay, guys, here we go. They have really nice boxes as well, too. Okay, here we go. It's in bubble wrap. That's nice. Okay. Let me see if I can feel the front. This is the front. I can kind of figure it out. I think it should be this way. Because I can feel this is the corner here. Hey! Whoa! Okay, this is cool! Okay, guys, so if you guys don't know, this is the Marvel Universe number 21 Beast from... This would be from X-Men. Now, that's an awesome pop. Yeesh, this is cool. Okay, now this is a win in my books. Even if it's not worth a lot... Um, this is a win in my books. I think this one's worth maybe 30 if I'm not mistaken. I'd have to check it, guys. That's why I grabbed my phone. So here, let me look it up real quick on uh, Stashpedia. I can pull that up right now, actually. Um, I'll scan the bottom. That'll work. Uh, let me see here. So I hope the scanner... Let me see. Search. Scan barcode. If you guys don't know, you can do this on... Uh, it says it's worth $23. Um, there it is there guys. That is not bad at all. I hope you guys can see that. $23 for Beast um, is a pretty cool pop. Now, I know that there's also another version of Beast, which is the Flocked Beast. That was, I don't know if that was a grail in this box, but this is another one that uh, is out there for Beast. Those are the two different versions of them. Um, this one's worth $550. It's limited to, I think, 240 pieces. Yeah, that's what it says. 
Um, but yeah, this is such an awesome pop. Let me pop this one out of its box real quick, um, and then I can show it to you guys um, a bit up close, a bit or closer up anyway. Um, I'll pop it out the bottom here. Let me see. Just put that in, and wait. Let me flip it. I gotta flip it the other way. Whoop. Uh, there we go. Careful, careful, careful. Got it. Okay, so um, this is. I don't think a pop that was around when I was buying them, or maybe they were and I just skipped over it all the time because I wasn't really into it at the time, but now this thing's amazing. Uh, what? Huh. Well, anyways, guys, here's Beast. There looks like there wasn't any glue on the spring on the inside. That's weird. Anyways, guys, there's the beast one there. I, I wish I could show them off a bit better. Um, let me see if I could put that somewhere. I don't know. There it is there. Ah. Anyways, guys, there's beast. I can fix this one up myself, but I just wish that didn't happen. Um, but anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. Okay guys, so we are back after the video and I just want to say that I messaged Chrono Toys and they were super nice and uh, he said he would send me another one. Um, so that was awesome, thank you so much for that. I just want to mention that so it wasn't like I was trying to bash them or anything. Um, this was a great box. I'm, it's Funko, of course. Like there was just, there's literally guys no glue on this and it's not their fault. They don't want to take them out of the box and check all the pops, so. I don't know, I think it's awesome. I can still fix this up, it'll look great, but uh, it gives me a good title for today. I can call it like uh, Mystery Box Fail or something like that. I don't know, but um, anyways, I just want to thank Chrono Toys for that awesome, you know, uh, customer service and everything like that. But let's end it again, guys. But this has been another episode of Top Ops Popsters. Thanks for watching.